What's going on, everybody? Nick here, along with Peter, Hello. producer for Dragon Blaze. Welcome to Gameville TV. Uh, I just want to dispel some rumors real quick that I see in the chat. Joe did not get fired. Or Joe deified. just needed it. <laughs> or deified. <laughs> or he did not get rebirthed as fodder. Um, he just needed a day off. So I'm here. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the 2.3 update. So, Peter, I'm going to go ahead and hand you this, and hand I'm going to let you show off some of the new things that we have going on. So, the, right. so the first thing we... Oh, oh I'm no, sorry. No, 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 the first no, no, thing no. we have is the new area. Exactly. So why don't we go ahead and check that out, and maybe you can kind of tell us what's going on in the story right now. All right, so here is the new area for 2-3, Black Ridge Cliffs. So, uh, let's see. Where we la last left off was uh, we went through uh, talking to the elves, you know, trying to get their yeah. help, but uh, that didn't work out so well. And uh, so in this chapter of the story, we're going to actually come across a whole new uh, breed of monster. Okay. So with the uh, angels coming, who do you think we'll be facing? Probably demons. Exactly. So, oh, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So in this stage, you'll be facing a lot of demons. And uh, so you'll get to find out more about the story, uh, what's going on, why, what are these demons doing. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out maybe not all good is bad. Not oh, all bad is good. spoilers. <laughs> Pay so, attention uh, to the story, people. So should we take a look at some of the stages? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's check out Thorny Downs. Sounds riveting. It does. So, as you can tell, it looks kind of scary. Look at that background. you got spikes everywhere. Seems a bit really, jagged. Really living up to its name, Thorny Downs. <laughs> right, right, absolutely. And, uh... Yeah, so as you can see, we, oh, we in our party we have the two new uh, the angels. Okay. The Septum Archangel Eye. Wow, that's kind of a mouthful. It is. Well, what about this? This. Uh, what about the archer's name? You Llewellyn. Llewellyn. I I never really had a problem with that one. Right. Llewellyn. Lily for short. Maybe. There you go. Lily's that right. works for me too. We got Llewellyn and Raven Gale. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I mean. We got some wolves. Yeah, the wolves in the back. That was like a like an enchantress or like a succubus, I guess. Okay, okay. I noticed when I, I was putting together some of these accounts that um, we've got some really cool new skins for some allies, and mm -hmm. there's definitely some unique monsters that are that are bring brought in, which is cool. Nice little change of pace instead of you know the same allies just kind of yeah. reskinned and stuff. So that was cool. The same old like gnolls and Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Bats and whatnot. Um so what actually what type of new allies can we expect to see as we're playing through these uh or allies or enemies that we expect to see as we're running through these uh as we're going through these levels and grinding out these quests. Yeah, so as I mentioned it is a lot of demons so we'll see like uh succubus succubus side. Suck succubi? <laughs> oh, there you go. Succubi. There we go. That's great. And also uh, Incubi. Incubi. Which is, I guess, the male version of that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so the, so we got a lot of demons. Um, and mainly because they're the, min the minions of uh, our new raid monster. Ooh. Yeah. So he's... Yeah, we're going to check him out a little the, the bit The big later. daddy demon. Yeah, that's going to be nice. All right. Well, then, I heard you mention the new uh, angel allies. Why don't we kind of talk about them a little bit? And I already saw somebody was asking how uh, Raven Gale's skill actually... Uh, does Raven Gale's skill actually steal so enemy stats will drop? So why don't we go ahead and just talk a little bit about the uh, allies. Maybe we can go to the allies yeah, screen actually, and we can check them out. Yeah. Fix that out of this. Stage failed. Oh. I've seen that a lot. <laughs> Wait till we get to the raid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the folio. So we have the, the new Septum Archangel Eye section. So we'll start with the. Uh, well, let's just start with uh, Llewellyn. Certainly. Llewellyn the Fury. Fiery? Fiery. Fear, fi yeah, fiery. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a sniper, you know, uh, an archer class. And uh, she increases her attack speed with her normal attack. So okay. the longer she attacks, the quicker her uh, attacks will go. So her first skill, it uh, does damage and disable skills. For 15 seconds. Now, let me ask you real quick before we get into the skills. With that, will that like stack and say labyrinth, or how does that actually reset itself? Do you know? Um, the uh, the attack speed. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure. Okay. About that, there's there'll probably be a cap. I'm assuming. Okay. But uh, 
if we can, we'll put up more details in like that. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, her first one's a, a DPS and disable. Second one is a. <clears throat> so she she inflicts damage, and then when she attacks the same enemy, she inflicts fifty percent additional damage, and the enemies in the surrounding area. So okay. I guess it's like an AOE kind of attack. Yeah, get some splash yeah, damage. So it, so it lasts for eleven seconds. So during that duration, it'll keep hitting a uh, hitting with splash. Okay. And this one is uh, increases her her attack by seventy six percent, her d defense penetration, and her attack speed. So this is basically like a like a super buff. Yeah, like a mini magnify yeah, for yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go, mega magnify. Weakness discovery. So this one is actually interesting because it'll help her basically pinpoint the weakest opponents. Mm -hmm. So she'll t try to take out the uh, the enemies with the lowest stamina and defense first. So probably like archers, yeah, mages, archers, mages priests. priests. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably really helpful, like in arena. Now, do you know if that ignores taunts? Um, this I do not know. Okay. I would I would assume it wouldn't. Yeah. Taunts are pretty like you know overarching in terms of. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure our players will do a lot of theory crafting anyway, and they'll yeah. find out pretty quickly. So, great. And her last one is a. Uh, when hit, she increases her accuracy and evasion by, or evasion for 15 seconds. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, so she's got a lot of buffs. Cool. Nice, yeah, and she looks awesome, man. I like yeah. the the artwork with her. and Her nice yeah. little... Uh, well, her skills really look cool, cool too. Yeah. Like, I was I was checking out her skills earlier, <laughs> and they looked really cool, yeah. Kind of makes me regret getting my Bloodwind. Oh, I spent so much time. snap. No, he's good, too. Yeah, he's he's amazing. <laughs> I love Bloodwind. So now we got Raven Gale the Kind. She's a mage, um, a DPS mage. Yeah, kind of a summoner mage. Yeah, kind of more summoner. in the vein of Bell Snow and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And uh, so she steals skills and gives them to her guard. Is Izar? Izar. So she's got like her own little pet minion. And uh, so uh, her normal attack also increases her intelligence. So the first skill uh, increases entire entire party's attack and attack speed. So great party buff um so this one she'll take 60 percent of the strongest enemy's attack and gives it to her minion is arc okay for 12 seconds mm -hmm. so this is like a buff and a debuff i guess yeah yeah yeah. Uh, this one again same thing but this one she'll steal a uh, crit rate 45 percent crit rate and give it to her uh minion is arc mm -hmm. and this one is so when she's hit for 60 seconds, she summons his. Yeah, she yeah. summons his arc basically, and uh, receives a boost in attack. And mm -hmm. he, and of course, his arc cannot be invoked again while he's already invoked, so you can't have like multiple copies of him. Mm -hmm. So while his arc is fighting, she'll basically increase her own evasion because she doesn't actually do any attacking while yeah. he's. So he's doing the main thing, mm -hmm. the main damage. Yeah, which is a bit different. I, I like how she's more based around her summons yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of like bell snow has the splash damage that she mm -hmm. does but her summons are more of like an afterthought mm -hmm. so whereas all of her skills are really based around buffing her summon yes. and letting him do a lot of the work mm -hmm. so i like that that's really cool definitely a, a new kind of mage I guess. absolutely yeah. yeah 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 that's cool wonderful right. and then actually do you want to uh i mean this seems like a good place to talk about the uh, the skill upgrades. Oh, the skill upgrades. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll have to go to the... Uh... Skill enhance right there. There yeah. you go. So now we have a... Uh... Oh, whoops. Yeah, there the skill enhance. There you go. So now we are introducing a skill enhance. So you can increase your uh, ally skills. You can upgrade them. Okay. So... Uh... What, one second real quick. Uh, Seconex has a question. Will... The stats that are stolen, do they actually decrease on the enemy? And I'm paraphrasing, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. chat's going by way too fast. Um, will the... The enemy itself actually get... Yeah, take debuff. the debuff. Or is it just taking that and adding yeah. it onto the summon? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I would think it wouldn't. It would just add. Okay. Death Crown, do you know? No, no, Death Crown doesn't know. So, so what, he just he just works here. No, he gets a repeated. Request. Oh, the Ra Raven Gale's attacks. Does it steal and debuff the enemy at the same time, or does it just take the portion that it's supposed to take and just add it? Wow, 
Yeah, well, so we're still learning. Yeah, so if it basically steals it, <laughs> will it actually take it off of the off of the monster and give it to you, or does it just take that flat balance and stack it onto the player? It just uh, gives it to uh, Igar. Okay. And then so the yeah, so the enemy wouldn't get. Affected. Okay. I so think too strong, maybe. I think that's kind of a good question. Yeah. All right, so you know what? We have our wheel behind us. We haven't even talked about the wheel. There's so much to do today. <laughs> wow. The good All old right. wheel. So we have our wheel of rewards here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We've got 200 tickets, three S to triple S summons, five premium summons, a U pick, 200 shoes, 150 rubies, and 200 tickets. So Centox, I think I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I apologize. We'll go ahead and give you the first spin of the day. Do you want to? Oh, or no, go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're so polite. <laughs> All right. Let's hope for something good. I hope Santox is still in chat. Ooh. Oh. Five premium oh, Wait oh, for oh, it. Oh. 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 All right. Centox, you get to pick. If you're still there. What would you like from our wonderful prize wheel? Go ahead and say it in chat. One of our lovely CMs will write down what you said, and we will get that sent out to you. It's actually a Black Ops 3 shirt. <laughs> yes. Sorry, as long as you know Black Dragon Blaze, it's fine. You don't need to know the Black Ops. All names. right, Centox, where are you? Do you remember the spelling at all? Was it it's C E N, I believe. C E K. C E K. Sec. Sec Conex. Yeah. 150 rubies. He said 150 rubies. I believe so. They, he, she. Oh come on. 150 rubies. Yes. Yes. All right. 150 rubies. Congratulations. Well done. Keep all those good questions coming in, guys. All right. Let's continue. All right. So we were going over uh, skills. Yes. Enhancing skills. So, uh, let's see. So, we've already kind of enhanced uh, Raven Gale skills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, should we reset it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, Whoa. I mean, you can. You just have to go buy more essences, which would be good oh, for the process. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Because then you can show them the process. That'll be great. So, as you can see, it's only 10 rubies to reset your skills, which is nice. Um, the one thing that kind of offsets that, though, is with the... Angels and the Dracos, you actually have to have essences mm -hmm. along with gold to upgrade the skills for them. So, and uh, oh, actually, we probably didn't tell them how to get the angels. No, we didn't. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of the same process as uh, the way you get the Dracos. Uh, you'll be you'll be picking up uh, dark essences in the new stage two to two dash three dungeons. So uh, Dark Essences can be used for both Raven Gale and uh, Low Ellen. So you don't need like a separate one like you do for the Dracos. Mm -hmm. So once you get 10 of those, uh, you uh, can basically take an ultimate Triple S ally that can be deified into the uh, corresponding Archangel. Arch Arch okay, so an any mage can turn into that? Uh, no, I think for her, not any mage. It's, uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think Flame, Flame Wizard Way was one. Um, Bell Snow has got to be one. Yeah, uh, I, th I think it's like the ones that have summoning skills. Uh, invocation so invocation skills. Okay, yeah. so Spark Wizard. Yeah, so those yeah. will be listed on the patch notes, exactly which kind of a mage can turn into a Raven Gale. Wonderful. And uh, in, with Llewellyn, I think it's any Triple S Archer. Oh, well, that's cool. So yeah, so once you have that, once you have those allies, you have them ultimate, uh, and you have 10 Dark Essences, which can be either bought in the store for 30 rubies or picked up in... Uh, the two three dungeons, you can basically turn them into uh, the archangel. So it's very similar to the uh, Draco process. Also, oh, now people have a difficult choice: Bloodwind <laughs> or Llewellyn. Yeah. I'm gonna be interested to see what people start picking. Okay, so so now we'll go to the skills. Uh, as you can see, her skills are already just level one, as mm -hmm. it, it usually is. And so here you can get up to a maximum of uh, five for triple S allies. So you'll earn a skill point. For every uh, uh, limit limit broken level, limit break level. Okay. So yeah, so every time you limit break, you'll also be able to enhance a skill. So for uh, 
So for her, she gets five total skill points. And as you can see, you, you won't be able to max out all your skills. So you'll have to kind of pick and choose which ones you want to put mm -hmm. the most points into. So uh, let's see. This one's a good one, so we'll just enhance. Level one's level two. Cost about 500,000 gold and two dark essences. Okay. So it's not cheap, but yeah, it's, it's worth it cheap, once yeah. you see what you get for, you know, fully enhancing mm -hmm. some of this stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you can just go go through and uh, enhance how you like. And again, yeah. since it's only 10 rubies to reset, it's okay if you mess up or yeah. if you don't uh, do it exactly the way you would want to. Right. And keep in mind that you can only have one of these skills mastered, mm -hmm. so you really want to make sure that you select wisely. I think the, when we did Raven Gales, we set her mastery for the party buff um, because it just seemed to be the most beneficial. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, you know, players are going to tinker around and they're going to figure out what they want. And yeah, let us know what you guys think. Um, Any more essences? Why so much gold? Because they're very strong. As you're building these skills, they get significantly stronger. Um, Especially when you're dealing with, you know, 15, 20% extra on an attack. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, people still had to farm a little bit when they're uh, upgrading their skills. Yep. So as you can see, I mastered the first one, and uh, I can no longer do the other ones. Those are stuck all at right. level two. Sir Boncho 24, can we enhance all ally skills or just the new allies? You can actually enhance all triple S skills. And then I think S to triple S. S to allies. triple S, yes. But they need to be uh, max plus one to begin yes. the skill enhance. So, yeah, they have to hit that limit break level. Yeah. And then, like I said, so uh, for like an, an S won't have five skill points. It'll have, uh, I think... Three or four, whatever the max limit break is. Okay. Yeah. So basically, that's the skill enhance. Nice. That's sweet, man. I was excited when I saw that when we started previewing yeah. this. It was a good time. We've been staring at that little one dash three forever. Okay. So then let's kind of uh, talk just a little bit more about the new angels, and then we'll kind of go to a little bit more stuff. Um, in terms of Llewellyn, mm -hmm. since she's an archer, we're pretty much going to assume that dex stamina accuracy and evasion are really going to be her her mm -hmm. primary stats mm -hmm. um but then for raven gale is her is uh is arc actually going to be targetable by enemies is arc can be targeted um he won't have like a health bar or anything on top mm -hmm. but you can click uh his uh character his little okay in the uh so he presumably screen. can be killed yes okay Wonderful. Can I see how to upgrade the SS skill? Um, Silver Ben, we've been upgrading the skills, but I mean, we can go ahead and do it one more time right, for you if you'd time. like. Let's do somebody that doesn't require essences, so okay. we can just pay some gold and get through it. All right. Uh, Chabelle is Chabelle. perfect, yeah. Good old Chabelle. Yep. And we'll go ahead and reset her skills. And then let's just kind of look at what the skills would be. So heal all. They would current level is 201% of attack gets healed. If you level it up, it becomes 209. So again, only gold is required for uh, for Chabelle. No essences yeah. or anything like that. Any non-Draco or Angel allies, only gold is required. Mm -hmm. So maxing this one out, it'll bump it up to 217%. Which is pretty significant. Yeah, especially at that end game, the high level, you know, those percentages count for a lot. Right. And uh, so this one is uh, her revive. Um, in Udaku, when you max enhance a triple S skill, does it change the icon picture like on the heroes? No, it does not. The icon remains the same. Uh, it's just more uh, you kind of keeping track of what what you have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like her, her revive, it only increases the HP by 1%, but it... Uh, reduce the cooldown by like five seconds. Okay. Yeah. So if you, I mean, if you max this out, that's like a whole ten seconds, which is actually a pretty substantial yeah. decrease in the cooldown. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then I know somebody was asking about the XP buff. If that stacks with the GM event stuff, yes, it does stack. Mm -hmm. So if you buy an XP pot and then we have an ad an additional fifty percent XP gain, those do stack. So mm -hmm. make sure to utilize those times when they come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was like a big thread on that. But yeah. yeah, we're also in the process of double checking, make sure, you know, everything does add up correctly. Okay, great. 
Mm. All right, let's see. Man, chat is going so fast. I want to get to more of you guys' questions. When you reset a Draco, do you get the essences back? You do not get essences no, back. No, you do not get essences back. No. If Raven Gale dies first, mm -hmm. does her summon die too, or Ooh. does it remain on the plane? That's a good question. It, it dies. dies. By Death Crown's frantic waving. <laughs> it, right, this he is, dies. This, 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 <laughs> this is the death sign, apparently. So yes, she dies. Oh, you want to see? Okay, well, uh, Gaga6190, we will be doing some Labyrinth and stuff later, so you will be able to see Raven Gale's summon. Looks pretty cool. It does. It looks really cool. Okay, and then um, just kind of a question from my end. Will ultimate skills ever be available for these guys? Ultimate skills? Um... Not that I know of. I don't, I don't know if it's actually in. Cause, especially because we are introducing the uh, skill points, leveling up the skills itself. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know about level ultimate skills being added for uh, allies. Okay, great. All right, so what do you think? Do you think, we should do, uh, do you think we should do some levels, maybe get into some labyrinth, or should we take a break and do just a really big block when we come back? Uh, I think we could do some labyrinth right now. Okay, perfect. So we actually increased the uh, levels in labyrinth. From 50 to 75. Correct. I tried to do, I got to level 50 today, and I got one shot by Akkard mm -hmm. with his AoE, and I was very, very sad because I was, he had like one K health. Yeah, sword, yeah, or Warrior. Yeah, man, he's super strong. Should so, auto -select? yeah, auto select. I made sure to give you guys some gear and everything. So, we're going to have Peter go ahead and play through. Mm -hmm. He'll start at 25. Hopefully, we can get past 50 so we can show you guys some of the new stages. Mm -hmm. And then as he's playing through, I'll take some of you guys' questions. We'll try and answer as much as we can. And hopefully, we can get some, some good information for these guys and maybe give away some more prizes. I always like spinning prize wheels. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, but uh, the level cap is also increased to 67. Yeah. Did we already see that? I don't think we did. Oh, okay. But so from you know 64 what? To 67. You're a better host than I am, man. <laughs> oh, no. Level cap increased. 64 to 67. Thanks for playing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's see. What does Raven Gale summon scale on? I I mean we could take a guess, honestly, but because there's no real health bar, it's it's kinda hard to tell without actual developer input. I would assume, though, that it takes the base stats of the character and then would we'll just put a percentage out there, right? Mm -hmm. That seems reasonable. Se seems reasonable, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you can see Raven Gale's, uh, see, right now he's kind of knocked out, but there he is. Oh, is Ark? Yeah. Cool, like, red, uh, yeah, he looks DB pretty, he looks pretty beefy. I like him. I like him. Uh, let's see here. With the new Labyrinth increase, can you start at 50 after beating 50? Uh, yes, you can start at 50 after beating 50. In terms of ticket cost, we're going to try and find out for you right now. <laughs> well, it would it goes from 2 to 4, so probably 8? Maybe, or 6. six. six. It six. depends, yeah. So it's it, it most likely will be 6 or 8. Hopefully Peter can More than four, succeed where I failed and... Oh, you forgot to get scrolls. Oh... You want to just quit and try again real quick? Because this is going to take a long time. All right. We'll give you guys a, a serious shot at it. Um, when will this patch be released? Do we want to tell them that yet? Or should we leave them hanging? I think we could tell them. Okay. It will be released uh, next Monday, the 21st. Yeah. Sounds good. And if it's not, wait longer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be here soon. Uh, is there going to be a player trades for gear or ally? I doubt that system will ever be introduced into the game. Sorry, Dr. Ninja. Uh, um, do, do allies have to be specific levels to increase their skill enhancement? Yes, they have to be at least max plus one. And then you get one skill point for every max plus level that you get. So once you hit ultimate, you should have five. Okay, round 50 costs six tickets if you want to skip directly to round 50. Thank you, Death Crown. 
You are super helpful. He's our Dragon Blaze Encyclopedia. Um. Dragonpedia. Dra Dragonpedia. Uh, currently, only the two angels are being released. We can't divulge any information on when new ones will be released. Mm -hmm. I would just encourage you guys to enjoy these two out right now. And then the new ones, they'll eventually get put in the game sometime. Mm -hmm. You know. We're not just going to stop doing things, so we'll have it there. Um, tell Death Crown he's needed on the forums. Death Crown's actually on the forums quite a bit. Uh, do Dark Essences also sell for gold too, like the Draco Essences? Um, I imagine since they can be farmed that, yes, you can sell them for gold. I don't know if it's going to be the same 10K or whatever the... The, uh, yeah, they, uh, they definitely should be able to be sold. Yeah. Okay. Um, does Llewellyn's damage over time ability uh, affect things after she's dead? That's actually, she doesn't really have a damage over time ability. She has a splash damage. Mm -hmm. So um, when she attacks that enemy, it will do burst damage similar to Bloodwind. So when she dies, there's no more actual attacks yeah. going on. Because I think it's only her attacks that are that affect that actually take care, that, t take advantage of that uh, the little AOE buff. Does the XP pot and daily XP? Yes, all the XP stacks together, guys. Um, will there ever be a costume for the new Angel Allies? Um, I yeah, there definitely should be. We got them for the Draco, so. Uh, uh, I think you could definitely uh, expect some cool-looking uh, costumes for our angels. Okay. Definitely. Um, will there e will there be more opportunities for us to get arena coins? Now that becomes really important with. Uh, Whoa. Saving your life, Peter. Um. That'll become more important as you know the the uh, jewels and everything. Now mm -hmm. I saw the the luminous jewels that we have in the shop are awesome, but they're super expensive. So yeah, that's a really good question. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I, yes. Arena coins are definitely much more desirable now because of the jewels. But uh, I mean, we'll definitely look into uh, seeing if we can give out more, maybe have like events or anything like that, now that uh, they can be used for jewels. But at this time, uh, we don't have any plans for uh, additional uh, arena coins. Okay. Muffins Galore wants to know if the new raid boss is going to be harder than Aqualus. I played him. <laughs> I, I, I haven't had a chance yet. He but, hits uh, so I've, hard. I've heard. He hits really hard. And then when you look at the, the hit point difference now, I, I feel like with the jewels and with the new gear, mm -hmm. the hit points go through the roof. Like exponentially. Yeah, like, I mean, if you look at your, if you look at your death crown, he's got over 120k health. Like, your healer's got, like, 72K. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Especially, you know, when 30, 40K was kind of, you know, good for a while. And uh -huh. now it's it's a big jump up. And this guy hits so hard. So hopefully we can get in. We'll do a couple of raids here in a little bit. And you guys can check it out. And hopefully, hopefully we can get a win. Yeah. Or at least last, you know, more than 10 seconds. Oh, man. It was tough doing it with the rookies, man. They They could not hang whatsoever. All right, let's see. Peter's on floor 40. 40. Man. And I saw somebody actually say put on auto call. I mean, that may work, and Peter may get lucky here, but auto call on, on these last few floors is dicey at best. So I wouldn't recommend doing it, but Peter's going to go ahead and do it. So good luck, because... It gets really rough. I mean, maybe I just got unlucky with some of the uh, uh, monster compositions. Mm -hmm. I got a few uh, mage compositions that, as soon as they come in, everybody AOE yeah. and, and no, wipe almost the whole There's definitely a little bit of luck. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, are we going to get any inventory or storage increases? Um, not at this time. I don't think there's anything planned for like the near future. But I know, yeah, the inventory storage is definitely something that uh, our players would like to have increased. You know, I personally would also love it to, 
you know, have more space. Right, right, right. Better hit that scroll. But at, yeah, in the near future, there are no. Hit that moves. scroll again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, and I just wanted to remind you guys real quick. I see that we have eighteen hundred and seventy viewers. When we hit oh. two thousand, ah, uh, ah, uh, that was close. Here, let me go ahead and give it a whirl real All quick, right. and then we'll try. Um, Death Crown, what's the reward for two thousand viewers? Uh, double S Ally Summon tickets. Okay, so if we hit two thousand, we only need one hundred and thirty more. Everybody gets a double S Ally Summon. So tell your friends. Tell your family. We don't care if they play. We just want them to watch. <laughs> so go ahead and get on that, guys. We want to give you guys some double S's. Mm -hmm. And make sure you're logging in every day because we're also giving away double S's. Right yeah, now. we are. We're giving away a lot of stuff right now. So definitely uh, I know, you know, take yeah, advantage. A lot of you guys have been talking about fodder. I mean, now's the perfect time to you know, save up. Absolutely. All right, so you know what? I'm going to turn on auto for the first 10 floors, mm -hmm. and then when it starts getting difficult, I'll start manually playing. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions about increasing your passive skills, leveling up the passive skills. Um, it, should, it should only be, I think, active skills. Yeah. Yeah, from what we were looking at, it was just active skills, so the first three skills. Okay. Um... If, you're ar if you already have an ultimate Draco, how do you upgrade the skills? You should have the five points that are already sitting there. Just yes. go to your allies. You'll see the skill enhance. Push the button, and you'll have the option mm -hmm. to upgrade, providing that you have the essences. Mm -hmm. So yeah, after the update, any allies that can have the skill points uh, will have them if they've already been you know, ultimate or limit, bro limit broken. Okay. Um, will there be another free skill reset? Ooh, a free skill reset. Um... Nothing in the works, but... Uh, yeah, I think that was just for Season 2. Yeah, that was like a Season 2 thing. Yeah, this isn't Season 3. Yes, this two is 2 3 Yeah, exactly. So maybe at Season 3, maybe they'll do something like that, but mm -hmm. that's not currently uh, what's in the cards. Yeah, so right now, we're like around halfway through Season 2, I would say. Okay. Um, Ace Talene 80, oh, will uh, the... Dark essences only drop in the new 2.3 area or all in all of chapter uh, 2? They should only be dropping the 2-3 area. Okay. The third stage, or third uh, map area. Okay. Um, somebody, I did see, I'm sorry I didn't see your name, but somebody did ask, um, how do how strong are the angels compared to the Dracos? Um, in, comparatively, mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of tough. It, it really depends on what you like. I mean, I personally like Bloodwind mm -hmm. over Llewellyn just because mm -hmm. I like the constant splash damage mm -hmm. rather than the just every now and then. Um, but Raven Gale is ridiculously strong. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not like a strict, oh, you know, the angels are much stronger than the Dracos or anything like that. I mean, each, each ally has their use, their pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you could uh, your party could definitely be like a mixture of them. Right. Yeah. So it's whatever fits your playstyle, whatever you like, or whoever you think looks cooler. Maybe you want a really cool looking party. Cool. And uh, yeah, uh, as I mentioned before, the the max level cap will be increased to sixty seven. So three extra levels. Nice. Uh, does Raven Gale's stealing skill work on world bosses? I would Ooh. assume not. Yeah, that would yeah. be that would be crazy. Could you imagine <laughs> adding like, like half, of yeah, half of their decks or something? Oh my goodness. That would, sure it, it, it <laughs> that would be uh, crazy. World bosses. That's a fantastic idea though. I'd love to get like four million on a on a world boss. Um, is the Red Warrior has its own skill? Uh, I think you're talking about Izark, the summons. And yes, he's automatic. He does his own things. I don't think he has individual skills, per se. Mm -hmm. But yes, he is. Uh, he does function separately from other people. All right. So hopefully, I can. Can we spin that wheel? I don't know. Can you? You got to ask a good question. You got to. You got to plea to Peter. <laughs> Peter will pick the next person who gets. 
took some random selections for answering so many questions it's impossible to give everyone a spin. Yeah. I mean, we would love to give everyone a spin, but... Whoa, there it goes. Oh, it's so oh. fast. Oh, it's I so one, fast. I totally did not catch the name. Oh, no. Um, can we put on slow mode? Is there there's a slow mode? Yeah. There is a slow mode. Oh, pa Pacatus? They want to know about the auto run feature, the auto retry? Uh huh. Sh should we talk about that now? Yeah, absolutely, man. All Sounds right, good. So, Pacatus. I gotta remember that name. Um, so, the auto retry is. Um, so, you can set it to basically replay stages, the dungeons. So, you don't have to keep you know clicking retry and then pressing all the buttons. So, it'll do it for you. And it'll do it till basically you run out of inventory space or uh, shoes. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So it's actually really helpful. And then, uh, so yeah, we've imp implemented a lot of stuff to just uh, help, you know, make everything a little more efficient. The grinding yeah, process, the grinding. yeah. Because it is, uh, you know, there, some people complain about the grinding, but it is, you know, an RP MMORPG kind of. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's always going to be part of the aspect of the game. So uh, we've implemented that, and we also have a... Uh, a sort feature for the friends list. So you can kind of sort your friends by level. So, uh, you know, it's not all random. And uh, so when you do the auto retry, it, it can also uh, add your friends while you do the dungeons. So oh, it'll auto pick your friends, auto select. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that way, you know, hopefully that makes the grind a little easier. So uh, I guess we'll give it a spin for Pacatus. Pac Pacatus. Yeah. I hope you get something good, man. Oh, I'm trying to watch the wheel and do Labyrinth. Oh, no. Oh, where is it going to start? Where is it? Oh, oh. Oh. 150 rubies again. All right. Uh, Pacatus, Congrats. 150 rubies. All right. Yeah. Oh, another cool thing about the auto retry is after it finishes, it'll kind of give you like a little summary, like how much gold you got, how much EXP you got, and like how many shoes it used up, and just like a little quick breakdown. So that's kind of cool to see. Nice. We've been giving them some good prizes already. 300 rubies so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. I remember last time it was like well, a bunch of... Just a bunch of shoes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um... Will there ever be new skills for the main classes? Ooh, for the main classes. Um, I don't have a definitive answer for that, but um, there are no plans for uh, adding additional skills for the uh, classes, as far as I know. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, man, I hate this floor. It is chaos. What floor are you on? 50. Oh, you are on 50. Oh, can you make it fast? So we can... Double check that uh, six ticket use. Oh, Teal. To survive long enough. Uh, will the auto retry be used, uh, implemented for raids? Um, I don't. I don't think so. No. Yeah. What is the name of the new set of triple S items? Ooh, the new set is called. Uh, you know. Oh, you passed it. Yes. Shrieking, shrieking dead set. Is, is that shrieking, one? yes. Shrieking yeah, shrieking dead, dead. sets, sets. Yes. All right. So it looks like we got Chabelle in floor fifty-one. That's a crime. <laughs> that is a crime. <laughs> Why? I did get to fifty-one. It's tough. Teal helped me tremendously. And AOE sheep. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves AOE sheep. How can we acquire the angels again? So again, angels are very similar to the Dracos. Um, you'll have to have a eligible ally that is uh, ultimate. So each uh, each angel can each angel has like a list of allies that can turn into that angel. So uh, as I mentioned, for Raven Gale, it's uh, the mages that have the invocation skill, like uh, Flame Wizard Way, Bell Snow, um, etc. And uh, Llewellyn, any triple S archer can turn into Llewellyn. So once you have that ally, once they're ultimate, and once you have 10 dark essences, you can uh, deify them into the angel. So very similar to the Dracos. Just dark essences instead of the... Uh... Um, as Trelita89, can I make a Draco into an angel? No, you cannot. No. 
they're that would be interesting. Yeah, it's like changing sides. They're like right. Yeah, they're opposing opposing factions and whatnot. All right. Oh, we've hit two thousand. So that's a double S for everyone. Oh, wow. Congratulations, everybody, on your double S. Um, we should be getting that sent out early in the week. I know last time we said it would be around Tuesday, and it didn't go out till around Thursday. Uh, I know Death Crown is working hard to get that out to you earlier in the week, so expect it around Tuesday or Wednesday. But if it comes on Thursday, please be nice to him. He works really hard. But yeah, but we'll definitely aim for the early next week. Absolutely. Okay, well, I mean, we hit Labyrinth. That's good. Should we uh, take a quick break? All right. Break and then come good. back and we'll do some boss raids and answer some more questions? Sounds right. like a plan. Sounds good. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Sitting here with Peter. I'm Nick. Loud Joe's on. Champion. Joe's on. Uh, Joe's on holiday. He is coming back, thankfully. I know all of you miss him very, very much. We miss you too, Joe. All right. Um. So uh, I saw a lot of people asking for the new allies. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at some of the new allies you can get from uh, the new stage. Sounds Black awesome. Ridge clip. Sounds awesome. Um, there was one uh, a person that did have a question saying, mm -hmm. "Is it will we ever be able to have more than fifty friends?" More than fifty friends. Someone's Mr. Popular over there. Oh, I think they just want more friend points. Yeah. Um, I got I think, someone in chat saying, "If we hit four thousand viewers, they want me to appear on camera." So I'm good with that. Yeah. Apparently, if we hit four thousand viewers. <laughs> Death Crown will come on and camera. Will eat his hat. Uh, I will not eat my hat, <laughs> but yes, Death Crown will appear on camera. All right. So, uh, oh, the friends thing. Um, we can take a look at it, but as of now, no, no plans to expand it. So I guess you'll have to pick and choose who your your closest friends are. Got to be, got to be choosy. So uh, yeah, some of the new allies, as you can see, they're definitely uh, a little. You know, evil looking. We got the, uh, the succubi over here. I like yeah. the art designs. So yeah, they look good. It definitely looks pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Double S. Darun. 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 The incubus. He doesn't look like a band. <laughs> so yeah, he's a tank. <laughs> um, let's see. He he inflicts damage and uh, not only decreases the enemy's defense but increases their own defense. Uh, reflex damage. It's pretty good. Okay, this is also a taunt. So this is so he could actually be pretty effective. Taunts and then turns on his little reflecting skill. And increases strength, increases stamina. So definitely very uh very potent as a tank. And we've got Maru the succubus. Uh, grants a party member the ability to steal 58% HP for 28 seconds. That's pretty nice. Restores entire, entire party's HP. So, healer. Inflicts damage for 9 seconds on all enemies and stuns them. 30% chance. The new hero has one. 
The new hero. The new heroes. Let's see. It's a long list now. Yeah, man, we got we got quite an extensive list. All of a sudden. All right. Here we go. Lilith Succubus. Whoa, she's got a very interesting uh, weapon there. Is she holding like a candelabra? <laughs> yeah, it looks like, it looks like a, a demonic. I don't know. I will show you the light. So yeah, inflicts damage and steals a buff. That's pretty interesting. Uh, inflicts damage, adds additional damage per debuff. Um, there is there is a couple of people asking if we'll ever be able to rebirth Dracos or Angels. Mm -hmm. I seriously doubt that's going to be something that's implemented into the game. Mm -hmm. Just because you're already taking one thing. If you rebirth the Draco, it wouldn't be anything other than that Draco. So it's kind of pointless for mm -hmm. you guys to reset that back to level 1 and have to do that grind again. Dracos are good. You don't need to rebirth. Yeah, you don't need to. You just need to get them strong. So yeah, um, yeah. So as you can see, these are the new Triple S uh, hero allies are pretty good. Uh, we'll just go through his and then uh, be done with this portion. Great. Uh, it inflicts damage, decreases defense, and increases his own defense. So it's very similar to the uh, the uh, other Incubus I showed you. But since this is the hero version, it's a little stronger, higher percentages and whatnot. All right, I think that's good. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um, I know somebody was asking if Magnify and Ravengale's buff stacked. Mm -hmm. I think they would. Um, yeah. They should. they should. Don't hold us to it, <laughs> but they should because they're two separate skills. Yeah, and as far as yeah, as far as I know, there's not not too many like limitations on like what buffs can actually stack with each other, or, like any uh, restrictions. So they should be able to buff or stack on top of each other. Let's see. What were we, what were, we were going to do something. Oh, auto retry. Oh, yeah. It will actually show them what it looks like. Absolutely. Yikes. So, uh, at the bottom, oh, the sort by friend feature. As you can see, it all sort by levels. That's helpful. And then auto select friends and auto retry on the bottom. So, as it says, auto retry will be automatically canceled when your inventory is full. Or when you run out of shoes. So we have like over a thousand shoes, so I'm sure the inventory will get full first. So uh, there you go. And it will automatically go through the dungeons for you. So this is diff a little different from other games because other games, when they have this uh, like multiplier auto system, like it'll kind of skip the mm -hmm. stages. It'll just like do it like within like five seconds. But this one, it actually plays through like fully. So it's not like a, it's not like a quick fix or anything like that. It's just to, you know, help ease the uh, the grind. Play at work more efficiently. Yeah, basically. <laughs> to play, <laughs> play at, work at work more efficiently. efficiently. Thanks, Death Crown. Hey, that's my job. Yeah. In between doing desk stuff. <sighs> Can auto re retry be done the same stage? Yes, it will replay the whatever stage you uh, started it on. So it's not going through like all the stages. It's just whatever stage you uh, started it on. Can auto retry be used for the daily dungeons? Ooh, it's a good question. We can just find out. By the way, just on a personal note, are we gonna get new daily dungeons every anytime soon? Because um, the levels get the level gap is getting pretty significant at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure there. Are, yeah, there's a lot more content coming in. You know, levels going higher. So I didn't mean to put you on the spot, man. <laughs> I was just I was just curious. Um, I don't know if there's anything in the works right now, but yeah, I think definitely, I feel like daily dungeons maybe get overlooked a little bit, so I will definitely right. kind of see like, you know, what's, what's going to happen with those. All right. Um, is the new character class coming out? Not anytime soon. I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything. It's not going to be anytime <laughs> soon. I can tell you that much. All right. Um, do we get a buff for half Angel, half Draco in the party? No. That's that's no. There's no buff there. Um, how hard is the new raid boss compared to the others? He's pretty difficult. I mean, you'll see 
Shortly. You'll see him soon, yeah, and hopefully we can kill him because he hits like a truck. What's that little blue icon? Oh, the little blue icon. This is to uh, exit auto retry. Yes. So here you go. So here you'll see what the auto retry has done so far. So how much gold? Um, how much gold? Yeah, how much you used? Uh, it should say acquired XP. I'm not sure why it didn't say. Maybe because we're not done. But it'll show you like, oh, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Max level. That's why. So it'll show you, yeah. And uh, if you if you fail, it'll show you how many times you fail. So like it'll say, uh, attempt failed. Whatever the message is, and then it'll read. It'll start again, though. So if you fail, it, like it doesn't stop. The auto retry doesn't automatically stop. It'll just keep going. So oh, it disappeared. Okay. So a couple of questions on here. Do angels need individual essences? No, they're gonna all. Well, as of this time, they're sharing the dark essences. Mm -hmm. So if you collect, it's not gonna be individual. Like uh, Bright Spark has her own. Death Crown has his own. Um, they're all gonna be kind of pooled together. Mm -hmm. Should we exit out of this or keep going? Or? Um, yeah, let's finish out the round. All right. And then maybe show them the totals. I didn't even know about that total thing. That thing yeah, is so cool. So it'll show man. you like how many, I what kind of items you got. So mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's a nice little uh, overview. Cool. All right. Um. Click the little blue button and then end the auto with try and want this automatically keep it on your own there. Okay. So it'll finish out the level, but. No. Stop. One second. Okay. So I'm trying to get to some of your questions, guys, but they are going by very quickly. So let's see. Um, oh, no. Will the Draco essences be unified into one type? I don't think that that would actually happen. No, probably not. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a blue button. Is not. Would you like to try pressing the blue button? Oh, you broke it. Why'd you break it, Peter? Are we forever stuck? Yeah. We are forever stuck in this loop, this loop of death. No. All right, you want to go full screen so he can just uh, cut this off and then. Yeah, so we'll just have to. Okay, we're good. All right, yeah, go ahead and restart it. All right, just exit. All right. Does auto raid have an auto sell function for lower tiered items? Sorry, what was that? Does auto? Does, no. No, it doesn't. I have been seeing a lot of requests for that, though. People to have, like, their blues automatically sold and stuff like that mm -hmm. as they're going through and grinding. I mean, that would definitely help. Yeah. But as of now, just make sure to clear out your inventory. Okay. And do you know, this is just kind of for my own personal uh, um, information. Mm hmm um, are there going to be, are there ever going to be like specific formations that maybe rely on the Dracos or the Angels or anything like that? Um, not, not that I know of, but I feel like that would maybe be too difficult because then, you know. Or maybe just have like one. Maybe just one Draco. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Have like a devilish formation or something like that, you know. We could look into that. Yeah. That'd be cool. Something fun. All right. Um. Can you lower the rate at which you get uh, duplicate double S and triple S allies? I mean, it's kind of RNG. Some people get really lucky and never get dupes. Uh, you could be like me, where you get four Gars out of the last six triple S's you combine, and then all of a sudden you pull a bunch of triple S's you like. So, I mean, we can't guarantee with RNG, you know, what you're going to get. So, mm -hmm. sorry you're having bad luck with your duplicates. Keep on getting Chabelle's. Uh, what do you think of having class tournaments where we actually use all units we get instead of only having them as fodder? I mean, that would I, I think that would make enhancing even more difficult if you couldn't use the things that you use yeah. as fodder for mm -hmm. fodder. You know? Like, I mean, you need to limit break, so you're going to have to have allies that you aren't necessarily usable. Um, it's a decent idea, you know, but it would definitely need a lot more... Uh, it would definitely need to be uh, expanded upon. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you want to get into some raids? All right. All right. Let's do it. So we have a priest, a mage. Actually, you know what? Where is this? You know what? Before we do that, Dash Dargon. 
what is the set bonuses for the new Screaming Dead set? The new set bonuses. So you can go ahead and check out the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, you can go to here. She's fully decked out. What? All right, so set bonus is... Two set effect, defense increase 325, HP increase 3 or 3316. You have four of them. You get immunity increase and evasion increase. Well, there's some hefty numbers. And if you have all of them, you get all resist increase and accuracy increase. Nice. So as you can see, it's quite a nice bonus. Okay. You want to give them a spin for that? I think we've been a little stash. I mean, we've we've almost been here for an hour and we've only wow. got two spins. Okay, let's do it. All right, dashed Argon. Dash because Dar you had a moderately good question and we're running low on time, <laughs> you get a spin on the wheel, buddy. Hey, loot is important. Oh, again? Wow. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh. Wow. Again. 150 rubies. Anyway. 150 rubies. Boss Darragon. Boss Peter. Does the new Archangel come patch come with a new costume? With a new costume. For sure. them. I... I don't believe so. Let's take a look at the shop. Let's. Oops. Wrong one. No, they do not. No costume yet. Oh, and then uh, somebody was asking if you could take off the uh, weapon skin so they could see the new weapon. Oh. So if it's in the settings. Okay. Display weapon customs off. There you go. That's what the new weapon looks like, guys. For mage, at least. Uh, let's see. Can we use auto try for labyrinth? No. No. That would be tough, man. I mean, it's cool if you just want to like farm gold. But, I mean, but like Labyrinth is so long in yeah. itself. Like, you could go yeah. eat lunch, come back, and then just manually restart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Let's see here. Somebody give us a good question. We need a good question from you guys. We get something good. We'll do another spin. We'll do some raids. And then Trying to give you guys stuff. You gotta ask good questions. For the influx. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Poke the bear. Does Llewellyn's damage that cannot be uh, healed, can you actually heal once she dies? That's a very well, a specific Do you question. The name of the person? Um, it's Llewellyn. I don't know. Oh, does does she have the viewer? No, I don't. We'd have to have our wonderful CMs find that. I don't think. Wait, which one is it? Yeah, there, she doesn't have a skill that stops your healing. I'm confused what you meant by that. Maybe we don't need to find out. That, you know, that, I don't <laughs> think that would qualify as a good question. All right, let's see. When do we get the deep V forma formation? It needs to happen. Uh, yeah. Well, well, there is a deep V, or a V ish formation. Oh, is there? Um, the Mighty Duck? Yeah. Oh. Nice breakthrough. That that kind of looks like a V. That looks like a V to me. Eh, rhymes. <laughs> um, let's see here. Whoa. How does Raven Gale's buff work? Does attack speed reduce cooldown on skills? I think, no, it, it wouldn't be the skill, it's just her, it's just, her normal attack. It, yeah, it's just the party's attack. Um, can we find out who actually asked that question? My wonderful CMs. Which question? Renshin 26. Renshin 26? Seems like a decent question. Yeah. All right. Renshin 36. 20. 26. <laughs> Renshin and some numbers. You're getting a spin. No. Nope. No, it's too far away. Oh. Oh, that one's pretty good. That one is pretty good. Let's see if it... All right. 3S That's to triple S, S summons. Wrenchin 26. Congratulations, Wrenchin and some numbers. Oh, I see. Wrenchin oh, there. okay. Great. 
It's only like super light green. That's not hard <laughs> to read. <laughs> All right, let's do some raids then. Right. Um, so we're going to have Death Crown and Liz, our intern, hop into these raids with us. Um, currently, the, uh, the invite feature is not working in our test build. So we're basically just going to all queue up at the same time and hope to get in the raid together. Scrolls. Yes, buy scrolls. Already prepared, but all right. are, you sh are you sure? Because you're the one that always shows up with no, uh, with no scrolls. Except one time. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right. Let's see. So I will be on a priest. Liz will be a warrior, I believe. Uh, Death Crown is going to be a rogue. Yep, Death Crown is going to be a rogue. And Peter is going to be playing our mage. So let me just equip these last two scrolls and we can... Yeah, I already... Yeah, make sure you got your skills. I oh, you got seven. seven. There you All go. Right. Where should I put them? Mm, that's tough, man. I don't know. Help me. Where should I put these skills? Hey, Nick, did you pre-order Blops 3? Blops um, 3. Yes. Free advertising. And no. I'm getting married next week, <laughs> so I think I'm getting it for a wedding gift. So my fiance is super happy about that. All right, I just put it all into that one. Uh, will there ever be an increase in the allies you can have due to the new allies being introduced? We actually did increase the amount of allies you could have a couple of patches ago. So, so right I now think it's seventy. Yeah, uh, I I think that should scale upwards later in the future, but there is precedence for that happening before. All right, everybody good? Got your scrolls equipped? All right, so let's go ahead and try and enter. Quick, we all get go. Matched up. Yeah, enter before we get set up with rookies. Oh. Oh, no. No. We don't want a rookie. No, we don't want a rookie. Where are we going? Oh, my God, are you serious, Liz? Should we cancel? We yeah, cancel. cancel real quick. Valmet. Mm. All right, let's go. The Valmet of the Netherworld. Will you allow us to move allies around in the formation? There's actually a button that already can have you move allies around the formation. But not like specifically. Placed. Since Llewellyn uses guns, will she be able to use, equip bows? Yes. <laughs> um, they're the same. Oh, I don't think... Did you get in, Liz? I'm hoping to. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay, she's in there. Yeah. All right. Don't mess this up, guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot. Look at this guy. He Someone, is a beast. Someone skipped leg day, though. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my legs? Like, Skipping leg. Is that a stun? Just, what was that? Too many curls. Oh, my God. Wow. You know, this is significantly easier when you're not using rookies. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. But I feel like we haven't seen Whoa, that's the, cool effect. the strength of this guy yet. Is that a leech? Life leech or something? I don't know. Keep in mind, guys, we overgeared ourselves for this so we wouldn't embarrass ourselves. But now when we die, you all can laugh at us for being super nubs. Uh, mage, the mage is really geared, you know, even though he's a, a sheep mage, we'll carry him. And I heard uh, he was actually really resistant to, like, spells, so, like, yeah, my sheep has, oh, of course. There you right go. Right. Hey, course. I needed that, though, because we were about to die. Will you ever be able to level up scrolls and potions? Um, I doubt it because it's already at a set percentage. Yeah, it's, yeah. So we wouldn't really need to level up scrolls. And I think as of now, like it's, God, it's a pretty good, so it's a decent amount of percentage. I am really scared about all those things that are stacking up on him. I don't think they're good. 
what is that? Like an increased. I, I don't attack? know. It. It looks like he's gonna hurt us badly, and I don't. Whoa. What happened? Oh. Like a what? Oh. Dude, we are getting handled right now. I need a res. I used all three of them already. Because I'm a, a real priest. Next up. We are just crawling along now. What happened? Uh, as mentioned before, Raven Gale's minion dies when she dies. Oh. Oh my gosh. Have a health bar, oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, but it's like above him, right? Yeah. Okay, I got. Not like an icon. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I meant like an icon. Yeah. Who's got a scroll? Uh, I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. Thank you, Liz. Dude, if this is tough for us right now, you guys better. Oh no. Okay, I'm cooldown. I'm cooldown. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Raven Gale's, Raven Gale's skills, they would not affect, or you, it would, the leech would not work on the world bosses, or the raids, I mean. Oh, got it. Oh my goodness. He's taking, like, no damage now. Dude, he is so, so strong. So, so many icons. <laughs> he is so strong. Oh my goodness. Ravengale summon can can it be debuff, stun, instant kill? Uh since you can target it, um I would assume you definitely could uh you know throw a debuff on it or uh you know aim your spells and whatnot. How the fudge this boss. Okay, my scrolls are up again. Okay. I'm on the phone. I got three. Or all two now. Okay. I'm on cooldown. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Sheep, sheep. I, I feel like we're sc we're going to scare people off of this raid. Uh, well, Hive invites reset. Um, not 100% sure, but we will listen in the patch notes, definitely, if they do get reset. Do, to whoever said watch them all get blue gear, that is not nice. <laughs> that is very mean. Oh, uh, we, we got it. Very mean. There we go. Um, for the person, uh, Cutie Eric, um, we actually can't do coupon codes anymore, just to be fair to iOS users. So what we're doing is we have tier rewards for our concurrent users. So uh, we hit 2,000 viewers today, so we're going to be sending out a double S ally to everybody mm -hmm. uh, for today's show. Early so week. early next week. Man, I would say let's do this raid again, but I am afraid. Like, how many scrolls did I use for that? You gotta restock. Yeah, I used seven revive scrolls. Five, seven, I used eight. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna quit. That boss is just too scary. <laughs> for real. Like, I'm... We have good gear. I'm, I'm a little worried about how tough he is. This is still a test. Bill. But it is still a test, so they may they may tune him down a little bit. Cuz he he must have heard you talking about him skipping leg day, man, cuz he wrecked us. I know he did. <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, well, he just has to stay in place, you know, stationary, so he doesn't need his legs. Uh, let's see. Can we get a nerf on oh, the new raid plus? Wow. Does everyone remember to bring your scrolls? There's nothing worse than having allies who don't use scrolls. Uh, will there ever be a refer a friend rewards? Um, well, right now we have the Hive, uh, or the, the Facebook. We have a we have an in-game refer, uh, friend referral system. Um, for Android only. For Android only, yes. But, uh, I mean... Of course, we're always open to uh, looking at other methods or other ways that players can, you know, refer friends, get, and get, you know, rewards in in return. So. 
I mean, we want to grow the player base and uh, yeah. So I mean, we'll definitely look into maybe other options because as uh, Defcon mentioned, uh, one of our methods is Android only. But uh, yeah. Um, Barrett, are you guys ever doing casual streams to cover uh, content or to cover different builds? Um, generally, our Twitch streams are, uh, you know, we try to provide a lot of information to you guys. I know we do do some streaming on some other sites. Uh, just check out our forums and stuff like that and for updated times and when we do more casual stuff. Um, let's see. Does Raven Gale bypass other ally immunity skills such as Blacaria's? Do you know? Raven Gale. I haven't had enough experience with her to tell you if that's um, actually the case. Yeah, I don't. I do not have an answer for that one. That's a good question, though. It is. Mm -hmm. What do you think? As in, like the leech, the life leech taken away, or? No, because I mean, you could take away a debuff, right? Uh, for Raven Gale. Yeah, I thought you could take away a. Is there No. Maybe it's her? Mm. Maybe it's a different character? Maybe, maybe that with the Disable disabled skills? skills? I, I don't know. Sorry, man. Um, someone was asking about guild adventures mm -hmm. when it's coming out. Um, as of now, um, I don't think it's coming in the near future. Um, I haven't really heard about it, too much about it yet. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely tease it when it is, you know, getting closer to uh, the time it does come out. Mm -hmm. But as of now, um, no, no uh, near future plans. All right, Derekle had a question: Does Llewellyn's uh, lowest stamina passive does that is that only at the beginning of the fight, or does that continue through all the battles? Llewellyn's the passive where she targets the lowest defense, lowest stamina. I would think that applies throughout the battle. Yeah. yeah just constantly, well, whoever is the weakest in terms of uh, stamina and defense will get t targeted first. Okay, great. You want to give Derekle a spin? Derekle, sure. All right, sounds good. Derekle, 1994? Yeah, sure, whatever. There, yeah, 1994. That's a youngin' right there. That <laughs> is a youngin'. <laughs> oh, man, I feel old. I am old. Oh, oh, oh. I, I think you're going to get five premium summons. Five premium summons. Yep. All right. Congratulations, Derekle. You get five premium summons. And that's the last one, the fifth one? That is the fifth one. So real quick before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and show the new costume three set mm -hmm. and see what the, uh, the skill or the, uh, the set bonus is. Are you talking about the uh, dead, streaking dead? No, didn't didn't we have the new costumes? Oh, the new co oh, okay. No, that was last. Was, was it like, last? Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah. So it was just the uh, the new set. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. In terms of the costumes, yeah, it was the last one for the allies. All right, there we go. Hey Peter, are we getting any special gifts for the launch of Chapter Two Three? Ooh. Ooh. I was gonna wait until the very end, <laughs> but oh, thanks, Death Crown. Spin? No, you can't get a spin. You get anti-spins. Um, there will be something. Okay. Well, our, I, th I think we were going to announce it anyway. Okay. You want to All right. Ahead? So, as a special gift for you, all of our players who log in during the 2.3 update, we will be giving out a free Triple S to everybody. So, along with your GM event, with the login for 10 days straight and get a triple S. And getting the double S. And like getting the double S's, S's, yeah, all the time. Log in for 28 days, you get a triple S. Yeah. So, <laughs> log in, free triple S's, love them, like them, use them as fodder, do whatever you want to do with them. It's a free triple S. And everybody's so happy the about gars that. Gars for everyone. Free gars <laughs> for everybody. Enjoy your dino, or what is it? What is this? The the dino one? Black Tyrant? Oh, Tyrant. Tyrant. The skeleton dino. Yeah, Tyrant. enjoy your Tyrants. Watch, somebody's going to get one and then just blame <laughs> me completely, yeah.
No, direct that to Death Crown. <laughs> yeah, direct all your scorn to Death Crown, please. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, we appreciate you guys being patient with me as I fumbled my way through hosting. Not at all. Thank you, Peter, for joining us again. Always glad to be here. All right, wonderful. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, giving us some good viewership numbers, man. We're glad to give you guys that double S, and we'll be around next week. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>